Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel HKS Numerical. Here you will learn numerical method with C++ programming. So let's begin. In this lecture, I will teach you about the operators in C++. So what is operators in C++? Operators in C++ are special symbols that is used to perform operations on the variables or values or data you can say okay for example here 10 is assigned to a 3 is assigned to b assignment operator equal to has been used here arithmetic operation is going and assignment operator is coming so arithmetic operation plus symbol has been used so what will happen here c is equal to 10 plus 3 plus 3 will be 16. Here division 3 is equal to 10 divided by 3 will be 3.33. If it is float or double, if it is integer, then only 3 will be stored into C. C is equal to A minus B, 10 minus 3 divided equal to 7. Okay. So types of operators. Arithmetic operators, relational operators logical operator assignment operator increment operator decrement operators another operators are comma operator conditional operator and one other operator is bitwise operator it works on the bitwise operation like 3 is equal to 1 1 okay 0 0 1 1 if something must be added and bitwise operation will happen is it will change in this binary numbers not in the variable data so variable data will change after the binary of after the binary operation in this lecture in this lecture i am going to teach you about arithmetic operator it is used to basic perform in basic arithmetic operations like addition subtraction multiplication and division for addition plus symbol is used for subtraction minus symbol is used for multiplication asterisk symbol is used for division division symbol is used for modulus percentage symbol is used and this is a special character be only works for the integer only uh, example a 13 plus 3 13 plus 3 will be 16 13 minus 3 minus 3 will be 7 13 into 3 into 5. So 13 3 is a 39 and 5 will be 5. 45, 5. 4 will be reminded. 15, 19, 195. 13 plus 3 divided by 10. So 1.6 will become, but both since A and B are integer, so answer will be 1 13 modulus 3 3 4 are 12 12 minus 13 will be one reminder 13 modulus 3 1 3 modulus 13 reminder will be 3 okay now come to the practical part Okay, here I have written the code. Um, let me delete it first. Delete. Delete. First, we include IO stream header file for the input output. Okay. We use using namespace. We don't use namespace. Okay. Let me tell you directly int main empty this int a equals to 10 comma b is equal to 3 okay let me give addition std 
a plus b equals to a plus b std monoclon in del okay similar to this subtraction uh, if you are using vs code you can click alt and click another face so it will show multiple cursor so two cursor or uh, control c you will get output copy the like that line full one control v or paste subtraction a minus b or multiplication asterisk okay or division as symbol and or modulus Percentage. Okay. Now we going, we are going to compile this code. To compile it, we go here and click terminal, new terminal. New terminal has been created. To compile the code g plus plus hyphen o arithmetic arithmetic dot cpp okay compile it execute it arithmetic dot cpp okay let me see out the value of a and b also std colon colon co is equal to B is equal to B STD Compile it one second. Compilation completed. Execute it. So 10 plus 3 is equal to 13. 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. 10 into 3 will be 30. 10 divided by 3. 3 is going because it is integer and modulus 1. Okay, now let me change it to the float. Compile it. So here are my friend. You can see error is coming because modulus work only on the integer value. So this percentage symbol only work on the integer. So what if I change here one integer and another float? So compile it. You can see another one second error is coming. Line number 1735. Line number 1735. If you click here, 35 will come here. 35. Okay. We have to change. Comment it because float uh, modulus work on only float only. Control L, compile it, execute it. See, here 3.333 is coming. Previously, it was 3 only. You can see. Because A and B were integer. Now, it is float. What if it is double? Same result will come, but double is for the double precision. For scientific computing, you will require 10 to the power minus 9, minus 20, minus 100, like that. Some kind for that we use double precision. So 3.333. Okay.
so today's lecture has been completed thank you my friend and please like share and subscribe if you have any suggestions for me please comment